when we launched the Blue Oak Ranch uh, Reserve, one of the first grants that Mike Hamilton and I got was from the National Science Foundation to put out a wireless sensing network. And what I mean by that is there's little nodes spread across the landscape. Each one of those nodes measures temperature, pre uh, precipitation, uh, radiation, humidity, uh, soil moisture, and they basically communicate with each other. And so without having wires in between any of the nodes, we can send that sensory information almost like the, the neural network in your body. And it all goes back to a central hub, like our brain, and it processes all that information. And in that way, we can actually sense much more broadly the variation in all those environmental conditions over the landscape than if we just stuck a single weather station out there or we walked out for a day and made some handheld measurements. So we're getting a new sense of how variable the microenvironments are out here and how those microenvironments then are impacting the plants and the animals. So I study rattlesnakes and ground squirrels here. So I study predator-prey interactions and so I look at how rattlesnakes hunt their prey, which are here, their main prey item is ground squirrels. And I look at how squirrels avoid being eaten by snakes. The main reason we actually chose Blue Oak Ranch Reserve was because there's a wireless internet network throughout the whole reserve. And so in order to study snake foraging behavior, we set up video cameras overlooking them in the field and record their behavior. And these cameras record over the wireless internet in real time. And so this was like the main reason why we chose this place is we're able to use this technology that most other natural areas don't provide. So it's really like cutting edge behavioral research of animals. <laughs>